All right, good morning, everyone. We are gonna remove this feeding tube here in the office today. Our patient is very uh, nice enough to let us share his story as to why he had this feeding tube placed and to watch us remove it and show you guys how it's done. But this is an elderly gentleman who suffered a stroke earlier this year. He was hospitalized, he was on a ventilator, obviously he couldn't eat for himself. So for some enteral nutrition, he had a feeding tube placed. This is a peg tube. So this was placed by the GI doctor. Um, he has thankfully recovered enough from the stroke where he can eat by himself now. He no longer needs it. He can uh, eat enough to keep his nutrients uh, or his weight uh, normal and he's able to take his medications by mouth. So he no longer needs his feeding tube. So we're gonna remove it today. Um, he's had this in for over a couple months so it's safe to remove it. Um, if he had a place more recently than that, we would wait you know, four to six weeks after the peg tube is placed to allow the stomach to scar up to the abdominal wall because otherwise there's a risk of it falling away if we remove it too soon. But he's had this for several months. The stomach is now securely secured to the abdominal wall. So we're just gonna remove it. He's gonna have a gastrocutaneous fistula which will heal on its own and we'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but just so everyone can, um, does anyone have any questions before I go proceed? Just go ahead. I'm gonna hand my phone off to the my assistant here. We have consent from everybody. So um, we have our patient laying down on the, on the table, nice and relaxed. Everything has been removed, so there's nothing securing or attaching the, the tube to the skins, because sometimes there's some tape or some sutures. So obviously, you don't want to rip it out without having that unsecured. So everything's ready to go. So we're just going to do some firm pressure, and it's going to pop right out, and I'll show you the bumper. So one, two, three, that's it. Mm. So this is a little bumper that was underneath the skin. So this was inserted into the stomach. So you know, here's the skin, here's the opening. So this bumper was underneath the abdominal wall inside the stomach. So you just have to do some, some uh, firm pull to pull it out. And then this is the entire thing intact. So we know that it has not fallen apart. It's completely removed. And here's a gastrocutaneous fistula. This is the opening uh, that's gonna heal completely on its own. So if you had a large enough hole and can look, if you had a large enough hole and can look down there, you can see the inside of the stomach. Um, sometimes some gastric uh, juices come out. Nothing, nothing of concern. It'll just all heal up on its own. So all you have to do is have enough nutrition, and this heals up on its own. Just keep it covered. He'll come. Um, this hole will heal up in the next couple days for it, uh, so there won't be any leakage if there is any. And then um, this will continue to heal. And he'll come back for a two week follow up. 